Project 2025 searches are all over the internet, but they hit a spike last night after Sunday's BET Awards. Actress and mental health advocate Taraji P. Henson made a statement that got people's Twitter fingers going. Check this out. Chess, not checkers. It's about making decisions that will affect us as human beings, our careers, our next generations to come. Did you know that it is now a crime to be homeless? Pay attention. It's not a secret. Look it up. They are attacking our most vulnerable citizens. The Project 2025 plan is not a game. Look it up. There you go, Taraji. That's what I'm talking about. I hate that the BET audience there didn't give as many claps for that powerful political statement that they gave to Sexy Red, but that's just my personal opinion. We can talk about that another time. The point is, Taraji brought up Project 2025. And if you don't know, Project 2025 is the presidential transition project crafted by the friends, if you want to call them that, the friends and allies of Donald J. Trump. It's them, it's other MAGA Republicans. They're trying to give Trump not just the White House. They want to give him more power over you. They want to take away uh, the federal checks and balances system that makes the American Democratic project what it is, or at least what it's supposed to be. The link to the 920-page document, by the way, this project started in 2022. This is not new. We're just getting more info on it. But there's a 920-page document attached to it, and it's in the description to this video. So I want to make sure you read it. And I mean you. I mean you. You watch it right now. Read this document. Stop acting like you read the, the, the 2025 project if you didn't. Don't Wikipedia this. Don't rely on Twitter. Read this thing close because this thing breaks down all the things that the right wants from you to take away what the right wants from you in terms of your complicity and watching this government get dismantled. I'm talking about taking away reproductive freedom completely. I'm talking about giving more money, more handouts, more largesse to the wealthy. I'm talking about putting more taxes, not on the 1%, but on Main Street. I'm talking about letting Trump basically get revenge use his use the white house and the platform that he has to get revenge on anybody who challenges him or tries to hold him accountable basically letting him move like a king i'm talking about making the constitution almost obsolete i'm talking about dismantling federal bureaus like the department of education uh, uh, uh the department of housing this is what we're talking about and it's a collection of proposals, a bunch of conservative proposals, and they all come from the Heritage Foundation. Uh, and they're trying to basically remake America the moment Donald Trump wins the presidency in 2024. It's directed by Paul Dans and has a reported budget of around $22 million. Now, this group, they got Trump to adopt their agenda in 2017. So they've been successful. This isn't their first crack at this. This isn't their first bite at the apple. In 2017, they put out an agenda. And guess what? They got almost all of it. They said they want to eliminate capital investment uh, grants for new transit projects. They want to eliminate the National Infrastructure Investment uh, uh, Program. They want to overturn airline price regulation under the guise of limiting unfair and deceptive practices. They take something that sounds right, but use it for evil. They, re they want to reduce funding. They wanted to reduce funding, excuse me, for the Department of Education Office for Civil Rights by 50%. That was the first crack at DEI. That was the first crack at affirmative action. That was the first crack at the Department of Education. They want to rescind the guidance that uh, defines uh, sex to mean gender identity, meaning there's no space for gender diversity, no, for uh, understanding gender in a more complex and dynamic way. They're just trying to eliminate trans identities effectively. And I could go on and on. That was 2017. And if they got all that done in 2017 and they got a more ambitious and destructive agenda in 2025, what do you do? Well, you speak up about it. That's the first thing you do. That's why I am so proud of Taraji P. Henson. I'm so excited for BET, my family over at BET that said, we're going to mention it. Now, again, I wish the, the crowd responded more, but that ain't the crowd's fault. It's our failure to give a steady diet of this stuff. It shouldn't be the first time you hear it right now. We should be talking about this all the time. We should be promoting it all the time. We should be breaking down the 2025 project all the time. That's our work. That's our job.
as media pundits, but also as celebrity voices. I want to see more people out there do what Taraji did last night, do what BET did last night. And I want to see BET do more of it too. And that is use our platforms to speak the truth of the urgency of this moment, family. This is an urgent moment. This is a scary moment. And it's only going to get scarier. So once more, shout out to Taraji, shout out to BET, but everybody go in the description, look up 2025, 